What's going on everybody? My name is Alex Pendra and I want to welcome you to this video. This video will cover the knock playing cards, the marking system behind them, and tricks and routines that you can do right away with your knock cards. Now if you're not already familiar with the knock brand, the knocks have been around for about five years. We released them back in 2012 and they have been one of the most popular brand of custom playing cards ever. Now the knocks have come in many many colors. We had your standard knocks which were the five colors that everybody knows and loves. We had the black version, uh, we had some summer colors and some signature edition colors. Over the last few years we've been making our playing cards in Taiwan with Expert Playing Card Company. Fast forward today to 2017 we have started printing knock cards once again with United States Playing Card Company. Now to introduce the knock originals. These will be the standard version from now on. It's very important for us to keep it at a very cheap price. Uh, so no $10 decks of cards. That is for you know other people that want to sell a few decks and you can put your deck on your display stand and oh it's all very shiny and good but it's really not you know our style. Our style is we want to make cards that you can use, abuse, use them every day, match them to your sneakers, to your shirt, to your jacket, etc. and just have a, a nice stylized, simple, minimal custom deck of cards. These five decks of cards are now called knock originals okay now the knock originals have a feature that has been in the knock brand for close to all of its existence right M minus the version one we have put marking system in the knock cards now all right here they are these are in the knock originals now they come in red blue yellow green and everybody's favorite black now the black has been the most popular out of all the colors by far and we've added them to the knock original line so with that being said they're all the same so we're going to take a look at the marking system on the black ones because they are the best contrast between the black and the white border once you have that deck of cards in your hand all you have to do to look for the marking system and to read the marking system is you're going to look at the corners of the cards that's it now the corners tell you the marking system they are either sharp or round. Now I'm talking about the corners of the black part, for example, okay? The corners of the, the colored area. Now the harder you look for it, so if you're with your face close to it, you might not see it, uh, but if you're a little bit further away, just a regular one, you can see how that one corner, in this case right here, just sticks out. You can see it, right? It just sticks out. Um, so that's a sharp corner. The rest are round. So the difference between round and sharp is what's going to make up the marking system. All you have to do is count out how many sharps there are on the card, right? Maximum could be four, um, and that's going to tell you the suit value. So I am going to take out a spade, a heart, a clubs, and a diamond to demonstrate this. Now, it's going to be very simple. You're going to put a value to each suit. So ace of, uh, sorry, just spade, okay? We don't have to worry about the value, just spade is going to be one, the number one. Uh, why is that? Because it has one point. You see, one element, one point. Just remember, spade is one, okay? Now, heart is number two, because there's two elements to make up a heart, yes? You just think of a broken heart, right? Two elements come together to make the one pip, and hearts is number two. Um, clubs is three, obviously, because there are three, I mean, this needs no explanation needed. This is number three, obviously, because clubs is three. And for diamonds, I think that's, oh yes, four, perfect. Four makes up the diamonds because there's four points. So now that we know that spades is one, hearts is two, clubs is three, diamonds is four, you can learn the marking system very easily. If you see one sharp on the back of the card, for instance, there is the one sharp, the rest are round, you know it's a spade. One is spade, okay? Uh, I see two sharps here, these two are round, I know it's a heart, all right? Uh, three, I see, look, there's one, two, three, this one is the only round one, so one, two, three sharps, that means it's a club, three is clubs. And last but not least, diamond is four, so I see all of them being sharp, I go, wow, it's a diamond, look at this, it's a miracle. Um, now, if you, in case you're wondering, um, we do have jokers, and jokers are, uh, there are no sharps on them, so they're all round. So you know if you do encounter this and you don't see any round, then it is a joker, all right? That's pretty straightforward. Now that you know the marking system, I do suggest you shuffle up your deck of cards and you try to read the marking system for, in, in this case, there's one sharp, so I know it's a spade, okay? And we can do this until that we get comfortable. So this one is actually a joker. We got to a joker here. 
all right? Also, just keep in mind that it doesn't matter the orientation of the card, because let's say this one, for example, um, depending on, well, this one's a diamond, so that's not a good example, um, but this one is also a diamond, all right? Let's go with this one. Okay, this one is a club because there are three sharps on it. Now, it doesn't matter if it is pointed this way or pointed this way. You just start counting them. You go round, okay, sharp, 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 club, okay? So on and so forth. Now that we know the marking system, I'm gonna go ahead and use my one of my favorite colors, red, to explain my favorite trick that I do with uh, the marking system with this uh, deck of cards. Now the effect is going to be to have the cards shuffled and with the fingertips, guess the color of the cards, then the suit, then the actual value of the card that they selected. So you're gonna do it in three tiers. So the first step is to have a card forced. Now it's very important that you force a card and you know the value of this card. So let's say 10 of spades is going to be the forced card, okay? Doesn't matter what it is, but just remember 10 of spades. And I do say remember this because a lot of times I have done this and I have forgotten the card, trust me. Keep it in your mind, maybe do it with, with the same card over and over so you don't forget it, maybe your favorite card. Uh, but just as one little thing to keep in mind. So you're gonna force the 10 of spades and have them place this somewhere where you cannot see it. That is the most important thing about this routine, where I cannot see the, the card. So have them sit on it, have them put it against their chest, in their pocket, in their purse, it really doesn't matter, but just make sure that you don't see the front, the back, anything of this card, okay? So do your favorite force, show the, uh, the tell them to show the card to the spectator or not show anybody, that's up to you, and place it sight unseen somewhere where you don't see it. Good. Now you're gonna tell them to shuffle up the deck. They do so. Place the deck on the table, and now what we're gonna do is read the marking system for the suits. Now we're gonna do it, like I said, in three tiers. So, you're gonna say this to the spectator. All right, my job is to guess the card that you're sitting on or that's in your pocket, but I have to warm up, okay? Now there's obviously three parts to a card. There's the color, there's the suit, and there's that actual value, right? The number of the letter that's associated with it. Now I'm gonna try to do that, but I have to warm up. So you shuffle up these cards, right? They shuffle them up, they place it back here. And now you're going to read the marking system on the card. So just as a glance, boom, I see there's two. Right? There's two sharp, I know this is a heart, but I don't say heart just yet. I'm going to say the color only. So I take my two fingers and I do this and I say, uh, and I turn away, right? My head is turned away after I glimpse the marking system and I go, it's a red card. And I do this and then I show it's a red card and I place it down to the side. As they're looking at this, I'm looking at the next one. So I see only one point here, I know that's a spade. I do this and I don't say spade, I say only the color, I go, Okay, black, and I do that. Okay, and as they're looking here, again, I look here, I know it's a diamond, but I don't say diamond yet. I say only the color. I do this, my head is turned away. I say, okay, it's a, uh, it's a red card. Uh, yeah, it's a red card. Okay, so you do this maybe three or four or five times. It doesn't matter at this point, just so you could get warmed up, right? Now that you're warmed up, you can go into doing the suit. So not only the color, but you're gonna do the suit as well. So I'm gonna go like this. I see that this is two, so I know it's a heart. So I go, it's a red card. It's a heart, yes, hearts, good. And so, so these are not shuffled, these were a new deck. Um, but you get the idea. Uh, from here, I know it's only one, so I know it's a spade. I go, black card and a spade, perfect. This one is, uh, this is hard. I'm not getting anything from it. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Joker on this one. It might be the Joker. And you get that Joker, right? Because it's uh, no sharps on this. And you do this three or four times so you could get the suit and the color. So color first, then the suit. Now, after you warmed up, you don't wanna do the whole deck with this because it could be pretty boring. You, you do this and now you say, I'm gonna try to get the color, the suit, and the value of the card that is behind your back that I cannot see. So you tell them to pull up their fingers just like this, you touch their fingers, do whatever you want, but whatever this card is, then you just call it out, okay? Before you even see it, so don't have them take it out. Remember, this is still in their pocket. You say it's a black card, it's a spade, it's a 10 of spades. You make it dramatic, you make it your own style, and when they take it out, it's a very, very nice effect. 
using this marking system because the method is, is taken away. You do not want them to think you're using marked cards and they don't think that because you have this card in their pocket, you can't see it. Uh, and they just shuffle this, so it can't be a stack, it can't be a force because they just shuffle this and you're reading off the color, the suit, etc. Okay, um, so that is just a very, very simple effect that you can do with the knock marking system.